these things are. <laughs> Senator Rosen had a tweet that suggested that a special session will be necessary for no other reason uh, than to get through the Health and Human Services bill. Does anybody good. have any comment on that? Any thought whether or not Senator Rosen I, I might have I think that's realistic. I, I think it's good. there just are not enough hours, even mm -hmm. if there were an agreement tonight. I think um, in my informal assessment, it was like noon today. If there were not targets by noon today, mm -hmm. it would be nearly impossible just to get the mechanics done of getting conference <laughs> committee reports agreed to and then just getting them processed. And I was thinking last night, because then conference committees could have started meeting this morning at 8 o'clock. Well, and I, and I keep thinking, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm hopelessly optimistic, but I was keep still thinking that by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. So there you go. I'm, but uh, well, I'm not very hopeful. Nobody's rejecting out of hand Senator Rosen's uh, thought. No, 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 unfortunately I think not. if most bills are settled, um, or if all the bills are uh, given targets and have the weekend to work, then I still think we probably have to go into special session just to get the, the revisers' work could done. Be, right. But it could be, my best case scenario is it could be just a one-day special session on Wednesday to, you know, pass well, one or two bills. And maybe they should be, the bills should be out in public so that actually people can see them yeah. uh, for a few days rather than plop, 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 and we, and we vote on these things because... That's, we just can't do this anymore. Yes, and the elephant in the room that no one's talking about is the Capitol right. renovation and the moving mm -hmm. dance coming up on May mm -hmm. 19th. But, you know, I think we can control that. Mm -hmm. I think we can I ask those moving vans to hold off for a day or two until we well, actually a, a read day the bills. Or, a day or two yeah. before the desks in the House chamber get unbolted and removed. I mean, that's what's supposed to happen on Tuesday. And a day or two, I've talked to admin, um, will not delay the construction too much. But, you know, these are all carefully timed. Right. Mm -hmm. And the uh, it's a very hot mm -hmm. construction season. If you saw the St. Paul paper this morning, there were th three pages of projects in St. Paul alone that are being involved. And it did not even include the Capitol and the new Senate office building in that list. So that uh, people, these construction companies, they have other jobs that they have to do. So they're, you know, time to spend their two weeks here and then they're off somewhere else. And if that gets thrown, they might not be able to do the work, and it could throw off the timing and everything else. And a fact, when we get back in the Capitol in 2017, that's how crucial it is. Our uh, residents of Minnesota, our fellow residents in this state, are going to be, I think, um, pleasantly surprised with this reconstruction project of the Capitol when mm -hmm. it's finished. It's creating an enormous amount of confusion for you folks and for student groups, I spoke to a student group today, this week, mm -hmm. that met at the History Center because they didn't have access to the Capitol, but uh, I think the inconvenience is going to be well worth it once we're Two-thirds of the Capitol's closed off. Right. So it's not been very pleasant for visitors. Um, there's a lot of noise, a lot of um, bad air quality. Mm -hmm. I hear from our staff a lot that they're having allergy problems. So it's been a real problem in the Capitol. But I, I do believe this is going to be quite spectacular. When you it's know, done. it is so long overdue. <laughs> uh, back when I entered the House in 2003, there were m massive needs for the Capitol mm -hmm. renovation. And it wasn't until uh, 2012 that we actually passed the Capitol uh, Commission that really started moving this project forward and you know this is a good example of bipartisanship I mean this is really Minnesotans house yeah and uh, it's essential that we take care of it I think it was really our moral duty to do so so I'm really glad to see the project um, continuing and we know there'll be you know little little um, rubs a, a, along the way but I think you're right it will and be we'll have a well real, we'll have real project. bathrooms and not the yeah. porta potties we have now <laughs> 